Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com. Man snackar här från MMA Nytt. Jag sitter här med Silvan och Brad Pickett. Eh, du sa precis att du är besviken. Eh, jag, jag tror jag är besviken eftersom jag underskattar den och jag tror på ATT. Ja, ta det på engelska. Well, Take it. Uh, English. I'm disappointed because I think I, I, I underrated him and I think he was nobody and I should finish in the first round. But the thing is, the truth is, I haven't fight for almost more than one year. Yeah. And I do good at sparring and the coaches believes in me, ATT believes in me, Gibby Gibby MMA believes in me. But the thing is, seriously, I, I was not calling, I, I, I was thinking too much. Seriously, I was thinking about hamburgers, I was thinking about Diablo 3, I was thinking about games. When I was in the fight, I was, what the fuck, what the fuck am I doing here, blah, blah, blah. But then in the first round, I get angry almost. And then I did good better. Yeah, no, you're good. Uh, 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 honestly, I, he, he's being critical of his fight like most of us are, but if you watch it back, you see Dan very, very good. No, very good. Especially, like you said, a little bit of ring rust. And even I underestimated him. He he was good. He, he was. He had, he, I thought he was going to tire, I thought he was going to gas. He didn't. Yeah, he, he had a good gas tank. No, he was here to fight, and, and it, it was no scrub. Exactly, he was here to fight, and I was not thinking, I think I would break him mentally so quick. The, the, the guy was there for fight. A, a, a lot of other guys would have crumbled to the pressure that's so important at times. He was some really good shots, and like some people were just like, oh, okay, I'm here for my paycheck, I'll give up. That guy was tough. He fought the whole time, and he didn't give up, man. So hats off to him. But it's so unfortunate, really good fight in my eyes. Why did you guys underestimate under him? Well, it's not a case of underestimating him. Just like maybe we look past him. Not, I mean, it's you very look stupid, past him, right? No, 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 it's not. It's, I don't know if we look past him because anyone's uh, here to fight, but he surprised me because he was really tough. I didn't think, I mean, I didn't think he weren't going to be that tough, but he took a lot of damage, you know, and he came back and he was fighting, and he was very skilled. We knew he was skilled on the floor, but he's a bit wider on his feet as well, which I talked to Sean a bit about. I wanted to keep it stand up a little bit more, but I know how it is when you've been out for a long time. Sometimes you don't feel comfortable on your feet. You want to get into the floor and, and be safe, where with him, He's not safe with the floor, he's dangerous. Well, I wanted to understand up a bit more about But at the end of the day, he won, he fought really well, and I'm very happy. Talk, uh, talk us through the past year. How did you prepare for this fight? And what have, what have you been done, uh, doing for the... <laughs> the last year. year? Yeah, last year. No, seriously, the, the, the thing is was... They, they told me you're going to be in the UFC. And uh, I told Brad I'm going to be in the UFC. Everyone was thinking I was going to win UFC. I'm going to top the MGB, GBJ MMA. So um, I was training a lot of technique, and I didn't sport too much. I didn't sport for three months almost. Just make me ready for UFC. And then they told me you're not going to be in UFC. And then they tried to think uh, again, and I was going to America Top Team. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been doing. And the thing is like this, I really thought I'm going to do this fight with elbows. And 80% of the training, we had done ground the pound with elbows. And, i was elbowing two times in the stomach because I figured I could do that, but I couldn't do that either. Uh, were you disappointed when you knew that you were uh, you didn't get the UFC contract? And do you think you will get the UFC contract now? Are your are your hopes up again for the UFC? I answer that for you. <laughs> uh, when when he didn't get the UFC contract before, he was very disappointed. But I told him, look. There's no rush to get to the UFC. Because once you get to the UFC, there's only one place you could go. is back down. You know. So I said to him. Concentrate on your fight, you're very young. He's talented, he's very young, he's in the right place in, in my eyes in his career to grow and become a world champion. You know, not just get to the UFC and go, hi, I'm in the UFC. Get to the UFC and be someone within the weight class. And to do that, he needs to develop. He's very young. You know, you don't just get there and go, oh by the way, first fight Scott Jorgensen. Tough fight, you know. I'm not saying he can't compete with these guys, he can. Yeah. But he wants to go when he gets to the UFC, he's gonna be someone, not just get there just for being there you know so that's why I say keep your head up and focus it was a long time and not fight now he's had this fight he's gonna just go back relax a little bit play some Diablo 3 and we're getting back training again and uh, getting a fight soon where do you see his future <laughs> will be in the UFC but not I, I was saying 
take his time. You know, he's a very, <laughs> he looks 39, but he's, he's he seems, 23. He seems tr stressed. He's 22, actually, and he looks 39. No, no, no seriously, I cannot describe it. First of all, I got tired. I shouldn't get tired. Everyone gets tired. I shouldn't get tired. I, I shouldn't get tired. I don't know if it's my weight cut, because I think I cut a lot of weight. How much did you cut? I, I think I weighed 70 kilos right now. Yeah, and that's like nine kilos from a, from the weighing. So, yeah, I cut, I cut around that. But not, not, not in one day, but one week I cut 70 kilos. Yeah, I do. I mean, nine kilos. <laughs> and the thing, I'm fucking tired. I got my throat, my sore, it's throat. I mean, my hey, throat is sore. You haven't for a long time, so you get, so I, I know what it is. You get a little bit of ring rust sometimes and, and, and stuff like that. Oh, sorry, yeah, you get a little bit of ring rust when you haven't fought for a long time and stuff. But honestly, he done really well. I, I want him to watch his fight back because yeah. he's he's big, but, you know. You just want a belt, yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so you, go, you, you should go yeah, to Asan. I'm gonna go to Asan. Okay. Asan hey, I, I need I need water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck! I got so thirsty all the time. Ska vi fortsätta på svenska? Det kan vi. Du vann. Hur kan man vara besviken då? Det är väl ringa. Okay, helt allt. Det är det här som är problemet. Helt allt. Jag underskattar den. För jag trodde att jag skulle gå in dit. Alltså runt, ba, jab, ba, jab, rak höger. Uh, så tror jag knät skulle det sänka också. Ja. För det hade jag tränat på mycket. Du fick in typ 30 knän med det. Första knät tror jag satt riktigt bra. Ja. Du satt in många knän. Fan, ett mm. av de sista knäna satt rakt i pannan. Jag trodde att han skulle typ <coughs> sänka ihop. Ja. ja alla, jag vet inte. Jag, jag underskattar. Jag, helt allt, jag tror jag fick lära mig läxa. Fick du, fick du en chock när du märkte att fan, snubben går inte ner? Nej, vet du vad? Jag kunde inte hålla mig i fokus. Jag började tänka på andra saker. Men sen blev jag arg. Tredje någon när jag... Jag, kommer ihåg, jag vet inte vad som hände riktigt, men jag tror att jag började sparka på... Kom igen typ liksom. Eller jag gjorde någonting ja, kanske. Ja, ja, då, då, liksom, då, då jag började tänka att det kommer igen nu fucking slåss vi. Då så jag tänkte jag, det är då jag är bra när jag slåss. För jag vet att jag är tuff. Men grejen innan jag blev så här, oh, shit han ger mig motstånd. Oh, nej gud, det kommer bli en match liksom. Jag, helt ärligt, jag tror jag får lära mig läxa, jag underskattar dem och sen Nu vet jag också att jag ska inte vara borta ett år för match Jag ska matcha om tre månader igen i alla fall Det fan, jag vet inte vad jag ska säga Grattis! Slut på intervjun! <laughs> Slut på intervjun, vill du tacka dina sponsorer? Jag vill tacka Epic, jag vill tacka Macon, American Top Team, alla vera drycker Min hemmaklubb här på GBG med Mario, det har otroligt för mycket för mig Och Emma Mario som jag bloggar för Ja Besök Silvans blogg på MMA nytt. Exakt. <laughs> Ska du åka tillbaka till Miami igen eller? Ja, jag tänkte flytta dit men vi, vi, vi får se. Jag, jag hoppas inte de är besvikna på den här insatsen. Jag måste se matchen själv men... Grejen jag underskattar honom. Jag tänkte att jag ska avsluta första ronden. Och sen när jag inte gjorde det så blev det... Kanske de närmaste... Och det blev domslut. Jag har avslutat den här på TKO. Så det är också lite... Jag tror jag, jag tror det räknas som en knockout till TKO. Tiden gick precis ut när du... Det det. Ja. Jag får kolla på videon och säga till dem. Jag tror att jag avslutar fort. fort Vad har du tänkt att göra de närmaste månaderna? Vi en vecka, så jag kommer ett spel ut, ska spela det i sex dagar i sträck tänkte jag. Och sen, du har Brad Pickett, ni är så riktiga <laughs> spelare där. Ja, och sen har lite semester, kanske åka till Stockholm, åka till mina föräldrar, det är min mamma. Och så åka tillbaka till Amerika Top tror jag. Vi på MMA Nytt vill önska dig all lycka och grattis för den här matchen. Tack, tack. Tackar. Programmet presenteras av betsy.com.